So the shield, which has been remastered and reformatted to fit from 4.3 full screen screens all the way to 16 by 9, 1.78 aspect ratio, full screen HD remastering. Uh, the shield started in 2002 and it ended in 2008. And it starred main protagonist Michael Chiklis, who plays Vic Mackey, alongside three other people in a strike team for a police department <coughs> known as The Barn, which was located in Farmington in Los Angeles. The Shield is and was written by Sean Ryan. He is also the creator of it. He's written various other shows such as Nip Talk. It was also written and sometimes starred with Kurt Suter who is the creator, writer, and director of Sons of Anarchy. <clears throat> the Shield, in my opinion, was the start of the explosive late-night FX showings of the likes of Sons of Anarchy, Justified, Nip Tuck, all sorts of shows. The Shield, in my opinion, is an instant classic, all the way from the very first second of The Shield to the very last minute and even the second of The Shield. The opening act and the closing act of The Shield is nothing but phenomenal. I won't say perfect, but it is nothing but phenomenal. It is excellently written, excellently directed. The camera work is amazing. It's, it utilizes very nerve-wracking shaky cam, but it does it in a sense of realism and grittiness and very, very good storytelling. You're still able to keep up with the story and the pace and the focus while maintaining the, the sense of realism, like you're, you're right there up front with these characters in the heat of the moments. <clears throat> the Shield is basically interconnected lives inside of a police department that just go day to day with their jobs, some some of the members and groups do shady dealings. Some of the members are actual good detectives and police. <clears throat> but the Shield's main story is revolved around Vic Mackey and his strike team who delve into bad police work. They cut deals with gangbangers. They extort. They steal. They <clears throat> pin drugs on bad guys they steal money for their own causes and what i can say about the shield is every single season has its own arc has its own one word phrase for what it was defined by <clears throat> so season one of the shield was basically the pilot of the show it was the startings of it and what i can say about season one i would just say procedural. It had <clears throat> an episodic base and a foundation for every single episode, but by the halfway point to the end, it had a main story going along, and from the beginning to the end, it had its own story, and it closed out, ending its own story. Season two, <clears throat> to me, I would characterize that as supervillain or intelligence. With that, I mean, season two had the defining moments of a super intelligent supervillain. That being the Mexican cartel and the gangbangers on the streets dealing with the high, higher up. <clears throat> and it was phenomenally well written and told. Now, this story didn't exactly go the whole way through the season and I won't go into spoilers but I will say that season two if you had to think of the first thing that comes up it would be intelligent villain versus strike team season three to me I would say moral ambiguity by that I mean there were some things that happened to the police and the councilmen themselves, and it was basically a season of them trying to cope with going along with their lives and trying to deal with it. Season four, <clears throat> hmm. To me, season four is the lowest that the season hit. 
but that's not bad still. It's still an excellent season. But to me, it just kind of, it, it was still well written, well directed, well acted. It was still everything well done. It just, I don't know, compared to other seasons before it, it was a little dull. Okay, it, it brought in a new character for the police. Uh, it brought in a new villain. And the story was fine and everything. But to me, it just the actions inside the season didn't very parallel well enough with what has gone on beforehand. Season five, <clears throat> I would call that survival. And by that, I mean there is a member of the police force that ends up getting caught through his, their shady dealings. And they're forced to make one decision in an ultimatum basically either saving themselves or screwing everybody else in the process. And I know it sounds the same, but it, it's not. Uh, I would personally say season five is my personal favorite. It's well written. Definitely the new characters introduced, they weren't just written off, okay? The new characters introduced in season five, they actually had their own unique personalities. And I think they were very well written. I think that their stories told amazing stories. Season six, I would define as betrayal. Basically things that were clustered in season five and they ended up having to be prolonged and moved into the future is basically impacted into season six. The final season, I would characterize as survival. Now, season seven, the final season of The Shield, when you go through it and you start season seven, you'll find out just how clustered up season seven is compared to all of the other seasons. It's basically a story about one deal, inside of one deal, inside of another deal, inside of another deal, and then around all of that one main story, you have all of the other stories of other detectives and, and characters. Now, The Shield as a whole, I would say that it ranks very, very far up on the ranks of television time. Again, I would call The Shield an instant classic. There were times <clears throat> when I felt like the, it, it did become a little bit much, but... That's what you need to understand about The Shield. The Shield is real. It's gritty. It's dramatic. It's about police trying to save their own lives and keep their own lives out of jeopardy and maintaining the protection with their families. And they're in the environment where all of the bad things happen, especially pertaining to your family. Again, I have really nothing but praise for The Shield. The Shield is phenomenal. I, I watched it for the first time a couple years ago. I just re-watched it a, within a week and a half on Hulu after I discovered that it was remastered and reformatted. So I said, hey, I gotta re-watch it and now I'm giving you this review. The Shield is definitely an instant classic. I would say it's either the number one or number two FX show of my personal favorite of an interest. I would say The Shield is a 9.5 out of 10. Thank you.